Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd talk about Back for Blood Beta on PS5. Um, so, first of all, let me just say this straight away. I absolutely bloody love the Left 4 Dead games. They were the first, like, R-rated games I ever played like, on Xbox 360 back in the day. They were, they were I mean, they're a hold of very dear place in my heart. And, uh, so... This is no way me dissing those games or even this game, okay? So first of all, I'd like to say it's fun. It's uh, it's what you'd expect. It's exactly what it is. It's, I mean, it's not advertised as Left 4 Dead 3 or anything, but like it, it just is Left 4 Dead 3. But that is a problem. It is just Left 4 Dead 3. I, it lacks a bit of personality, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, the weapons, as you can see on screen, they're all beautiful recreations of real life weapons, we've all got the names and everything. The reload animations are all very, very faithful to real life. You have... God, I can't even, like, remember half the weapons. There's, they're all in there. Any you can think of, big military Call of Duty weapons, you know. Military standard, police standard, all those are in the game, as you can see, M4A1, right there. Um, and yeah, they're all very pretty guns, and they all feel great to handle. Especially on PS5, don't know about PS4, can't be asked plugging that shit back in to play this on PS4. But I have a mate that I've played with, and he, he well, from the sounds of it, sounded like he quite glitchy, quite buggy on PS4. Which, I, I mean, can't blame it, it is a PS5 game running on PS4. So, you know, but my experience, this is on PS5 now, my experience is absolutely smooth plays like butter, you know, like triggers, triggers and all that, uh, the sensitivity is PS5 standard, you know, like most other PS5 games, feels very good to play, and the uh, graphics are beautiful as always, um, but that is not where the problem comes in, in fact it's not really the game at all, it's not the gameplay at all, it's a very addicting uh, looter shooter, you know, like the old Left 4 Dead games, uh, reminds me very much of Left 4 Dead 1 more than 2. Uh, but the thing about those games was the characters. The uh, the characters were very, you know, likable. The characters were they were they held a, each character. You just like had a personality, and the lines that come out with were funny, sometimes like annoying. You know, like they just you can remember them like Ellis and stuff. Funny bastard, you know. Like, you remember them from back in the day if you did play all those games, but I'm not sure if it's because it's beta or what, there ain't much story about, I mean, you can play the first few story levels, but I'm just not connecting with the characters, like, at all. They, um, they, right now, they just, it just seems like a place for your camera to go right now. I mean, maybe they'll change that in the final release, but very few lines coming out other than talking about what's going on in the mission, no funny comments or anything. You know, I mean, it's lacking a bit of personality. That's what I'm saying about that. Anyway, so, another thing. I mean, this is the easiest difficulty in this mode right now. This this is just campaign. There's two modes, campaign and versus. I haven't tried versus yet. I'm not going to speak about that. This is campaign. But, um, the premises is, if you know that, if you play Left 4 Dead, you know this. you got to go somewhere, you know, fight through zombies and stuff, and then... There's a midpoint in the map where you have to turn something on, shoot something, blow something up, and then it brings a horde to you. And that horde is like the challenge of that map. And there's special infected that come for you as well, and you and your team have to kill them, and then move on to the next safe zone. Now, this concept works. It, it, I mean, you can make a near-perfect game with that, with that like, concept of a game. It's just, it, it's so replayable with the customization of the weapons and stuff, which Left 4 Dead didn't have. So, you know, that is an improvement, but, um... It just... I don't know. It's just, um... It just feels a bit... I mean, don't, the game is fun. It's great. Like, it feels like a really good game. It feels like it's got a lot of potential, but I just... It's, it's lacking oomph. It's lacking... It don't feel special. You know, it feels like you're playing... I don't know, it just... It feels foreign. Like it's trying to be something when it already is, like... The 
characters they um they they see they seem ripped off. You know, very traditional characters. You have a nerd. You have a you have a cleaner. Like you have like a a lady, like mom kind of character. She's literally called mom. She's literally called mom, and she's like the mother character. You have like a cheeky girl who comes out with sarky comments. Not funny ones though. It's like I was saying earlier. And you have a black guy who's all like, "Oh, I was in the military. <laughs> I know what this weapon does. I know all the very low techniques." Like you have one of those kind of guys. I mean, when you think about to Left 4 Dead, I know I'm comparing it a lot, but that is just because it is Left 4 Dead 3. In other words, uh, the, none of the characters were special. You had like, I don't even know. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, like, you did have a military character in Left 4 Dead 1, but I mean, it was funny. You had a cig in his mouth, oh no. Just their personality. I mean, maybe it's because they're not putting it all in because it's only a beta. But there ain't much personality there. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, the special zombies, I um, I don't know. They are they're very dangerous, you know. I've been killed by them a few times. Like they should be very dangerous, like how they are. They do die a bit easy though. I'm not talking about the boss zombies. I'm talking about the special zombies that have like those red bubbles on them for like, oh shoot here, you kill them fast, that sort of thing. But they die a bit too fast, don't feel like a challenge. Unless there's a lot of them. If there's a lot of them piled up, then yes, you will get slaughtered, but you know. Here you can see me shooting out some birds to call a horde, just to see what the horde size is like. I mean, the horde size is there. That's, that is a big thing that I want. Days Gone was a PS4 game, and the horde size on that were mwah, immaculate. Scary. You know, like. You're like, how the fuck am I going to kill all these? But no, no, no. This game is PS5, like, the capability to fucking put how many zombies on there? I don't know. And the hordes, they seem mediocre. They don't they don't seem, like, big. Especially with four players going at it. I mean, like, they could do with being a bit bigger. I mean, I know the devs aren't ever going to see this, like, but you know what I'm saying, like... Uh, it's just a... Uh, <sighs> I will buy it when it comes out, I will, and I recommend you do too, but if you don't like Left 4 Dead and you think this is something like, if you think this is like the next big zombie game, then I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep thinking that, it's very much Left 4 Dead reimagined. I enjoyed my time, I'm going to keep playing it as well, I might do a live stream of it later when this video's gone up. But I just, I struggle to feel like, oh, I can't wait for this to come out. Don't get me wrong, I want this to come out, I want to play it, and I want to enjoy it. But, I just don't know. Anyway. If you did enjoy the video, please do <clears throat> leave a like and subscribe. I know this isn't exactly a big video or anything like that. probably didn't even enjoy it, but, you know, I just had to talk about it. Because, like, who am I going to talk, talk about it to? Someone who don't care? No. Someone who does care might find this video have a little listen, you know? And I only am 15, so you don't have to take my word for it. Play it for yourself if you can or don't. It's up to you, but... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's fun. It's fun. And that's what matters, really, but... God, just, it feels like something's missing. Just keep that in mind if you do play it. Anyway, love you lots. Uh, bye.